With a yo ho ho, it's Tail of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play in Azuma 11 to Firestorm. But for a firestorm, it's very pleasant, isn't it? We've just gone to the beach for a dip in the water, and well, there's a football pitch up there as well, so it's going to suit them just perfectly. But they actually have a stadium above the water, and it's crawling with sharks down there. Sh sharks? Don't say things like that! I can't ride. Playing with you guys last time was way fun. I want to play again. Plus, it ended in a draw. That's no fun. No way, man. The real rhyme in 11. Here are merry times. Really? <laughs> How am I supposed to do that kind of voice as a girl? I don't know if you noticed, but I am a man. And I've always been crap at voicing women, but you must be the coach. I've been waiting to meet you for a long time. Your tactics of the football frontier were fully awesome. Huh? Well, thank you. I'll be sure to let Coach Hillman know. Coach Hill... <laughs> uh, you know, you're way more beautiful than you seem on TV. I didn't recognize you. I don't think Coach Lena was ever on TV. Does he know what he's talking about? Ahem. Do any of you know of a football player who has been seen around here kicking a football covered in flames? Yeah, you're keen to bring the firestorm part of the game back into it. Dora, do you can you explore the ability of knowing about it? No, of course not, but we have to... In exchange for information, our coach has to go on a date with this guy. No, we have a match, obviously. I don't think it was ever in doubt. Ah! Rocky! I know you've been in a lot of fights lately, but geez, you've been messed up. Apparently, these guys were supposed to be in the football frontier. But their coach went to a carnival on the morning of the finals, got a bit carried away, and forgot about the match until it was already over. I love that every team we meet on this game has a different excuse for not being in the football frontier, and here they simply missed it. And here is the team captain, this is Soundtown. This is our captain, Caden Soundtown, the most laid-back dude on the team. But up, but up, but up. You're rhyming. Yep, I've heard the name. I can hardly wait until our game. I can't handle this. I'm going back to the bus. Aren't you going to play the mark? I think you'll have to if you want to find out about Axel. Oh, we want to anyway. It's bloody football. When were we ever likely to say no to a game of football? First, before we begin it, though. Ah, okay. I, I, I genuinely couldn't see that. I went that way because I saw on the top screen, yeah, there's, there's a training spot, but I'm even looking at a big computer screen where my capture board moves the footage over to and I actually couldn't see that. It doesn't colour blend very well, but yeah. The theme of this beach is obviously relaxation and letting go and I can't believe I've just got the manual for Dragon Cannon, a move I purchased in the last episode. Anyway, I will go to the left for an item. If you look at the top screen, 
you'll be able to see a horribly imperfect circle in the middle of the pitch. I mean, who thought they could get away with that? We actually got a black uh, move special learny thing there. That, that just means that... I'm just going to go heal. A black manual basically means that the special move is a skill rather than a move you actually use in battle. So it just raises your abilities. That one in particular would raise defense, but it's bleeding boiling as if we're playing in the Qatar World Cup. But of course, it's um, all about Axel, yeah. And he's going to wear some sun cream. You're not obvious at all with your watching the game. You're about as far away as Nelly is at the minute, who said she was going and all. Dora, what are you doing? The match is about to start. Coming. And this time I will actually check the bios. You're to watch the match, are you? Here, lad. You know about the football frontier, don't you? That team over there is the Ryman Eleven, last year's champions. They've lost a fair few players since then, man. Lots of them have been injured fighting aliens and had to leave the team. Uh, are you sure you should be playing? A lot of you still haven't recovered from the match with Genesis. We're fine, Sylvia. It's worth pushing through the pain barrier if we can get Axel back on the team. <laughs> Let's have a look at that bruise, Mark. Prod. Ah! <laughs> Just prod someone's bruise, you idiot. This is why people don't like you, Scott Banyan. The Ram and Eleven came to Okinawa to find one of their friends. They all miss him terribly. They really want him back on the team. That's why they're pushing themselves so hard, you see. Oh, looks like the match is about to start. You'll stay and watch him in action, won't you? Right next to the completely empty audience stalls. I can certainly say that in the anime, those that stall is filled. In fact, there's even quite a lot that happens at this point in the anime that is glazed over. What? We're not actually starting the match? Okay, dang! I keep losing the ball before I can get near the goal! That's your weakness, Hurley. You shoot well, but you still lack basic footballing skills. Whatever, dribbling is way too much like hard work, man. What do I need to do to get near the goal for anyway? I can get it in from here. Cowabunga! Well, he won't bleeding kidding. He scored from his own half. Now we start to finally have a bit more of an interest. That shot's got me fully juiced. I know, let's call it Tsunami Boost. You know, that wasn't so hard. I guess I'm just a genius. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. He shot like a striker, but he's playing in defense. Don't worry, team. Let's get a goal back. I can do it, Mac. Give me the ball. This will go into regular gameplay at some point, I can confirm. We are going to have a match at one point. And now he's even imagining his own teammates' voices urging Aiden to play. That's not good. Coach, we need to make a substitution and get him off the pitch. No, the other players haven't recovered from their match against Genesis yet. If only Axel were here. Hey, isn't this the kind of hopeless situation your friend Axel is supposed to magically appear from and save us from? Are you sure he's still your friend? Oh, hit him where it hurts. The friendship bomb. Are you sure you want to do this? You do want to protect your sister, don't you? Uh. You're a right noisy bunch, you lot. What's all the mithering about? Sean! Wait! No, that's Aiden! What do you need Axel for when you got a superstar striker like Sean Frost, eh? 
Blum, blum. That striker's rhythm's on the blink. His mind and body are way out of sync. Cadence, man, do you always have to come out with that heavy stuff? Take this, eternal blizzard! So, here I was thinking we'd have to use actual gameplay to overcome Hurley Kane's early goal, but never mind, it's already 1-1, and now we might actually be able to play the match. I love dialogue, don't get me wrong, but we're getting another tsunami boost now. How much of this match is going to be pre-recorded? I don't quite know. <laughs> Is that going to go in? But no, Jack's going to try and defend it this time. That's a bit better. Jack! And Jack learned Caleb Stonewall, a character that nobody in the comments seemed particularly enthused about the idea of recruiting, so definitely leave it, but... Now that's how you stop a shot. These guys' game is flaming hot. Like a packet of Monster Munch. Oh, which is better out of pickled onion and flaming hot? I think flaming hot. By the way, for some reason, the flavour that's most popular is just beef and onion, when that's by far the worst flavour of Monster Munch. And they've got the mental strength to handle and fix any they find themselves in. Impressive, isn't it? That's team for the whole match. How many dot 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 lines? Finally! He said an actual word. But finally, we're going to start this at the second half. Right? Yes, yes we are. Now halfway through the match I can actually check the bios. We still get all this dialogue as if it's about to truly start. I don't know, Sean, I think I would rather have you in a defensive formation now that I get the choice. Okay, here we go. I've still got marking goal instead of Darren because Darren's not particularly usable until he gets a move a bit better than God Hand, which at this point is one of the weakest moves left in the series. I may as well fire up immediately if I want to truly try hard. Look at this guy, Shark. What a great design. I like him very much. I, I can say with near certainty that I will be recruiting someone from Okinawa to put on the team. I haven't decided who yet, but I like Cadence. I like Rocky. I like, well, Hur Hurley Kane, obviously. I like... Um, well, Shark, yeah, that's who. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the, go back to what I was saying before, the anime, quite a lot of stuff happens that doesn't happen here in the game. Like, the guys arrive and they meet up with some of those guys we see in the alias scenes, like Torch and Gazelle, I think we're supposed to know their names at this point. Like, they come down and get all mean and moody with Mark, and... They also see a guy who owns the lighthouse called Thor Stoutberg, who is in this game, but only available through inputting a certain code, I believe, at which point he'd turn up in the lighthouse. We actually meet him in the anime, and he's a really good defender, and the Ryman 11 are like, join our team, join our team, but he's like, nah, I got family commitments, man, I can't. So it was just another red herring, which isn't discussed in the game at all. And you may notice I'm not really trying. There is something in particular that I want to show off in this match. So I'm not really trying to score any goals. And now I remember that seeing as this match starts halfway through, that's why I picked off, that's why I picked this match in particular to try and showcase it. So yes, I'm, I'm not really going for goal. I just want to put things off. So, talk about Hurley Kane for a bit. When I first got him, I'm like, well, Hurley, that's a radical name, dude. 
Then I got the joke. And no, it's not a pun on British football player Harry Kane. This came first. Well, I mean, obviously Harry Kane was born before this game, but, you know, it, he wasn't really in his prime at that point. No, Hurley Kane... Hurricane. He's an air type player who rides the waves and that sort of stuff. And so he's got a name based on Hurricane, which I find very funny. You want to know what his Japanese name is? Tsunami. Tsunami Kyosuke, if you want to use his full name. But the guy's name is literally Tsunami. Some names in this franchise are pretty silly, like, you know, Axel Blaze, but he's just blatant. His name is Tsunami! Just like the German Robot Wars runner-up who has already appeared on screen in this Let's Play before, unbelievably. So yeah, they're not willing to call matches a draw when they're just random matches. We don't switch sides. I've just noticed, or maybe we did and this, the camera's changed with it. They fired up, so I'll fire up. Contented looks pretty funny. I don't know which player I want to recruit from this team, but I know I want a new defender or two. I'm a bit short on them, and maybe a new striker like Shark wouldn't go amiss either. I'll probably just go around and get several, but maybe save it for a different episode because this one will be long enough yeah they're not willing to settle for a draw some matches might be but this one isn't we'll go to penalties if it's necessary which as you might be able to tell i'm kind of going for yeah i picked this match to have a penalty shootout not just because you start this match halfway through so it would take a lot less time and because I'm certain that it actually does go to penalties, but also because when I first played this game back in Inazuma 11 Blizzard, I obviously wasn't as good at the game back then, so I actually wasn't able to get a goal within the first half, and it naturally went to a penalty shootout without me even aiming to take it there. And oh, it was mad, because literally we just couldn't fail to score. I even had guys like Jack Wallside taking shots and I was just getting to hear everybody's yes I scored dialogue because everyone was wow everyone has extra time dialogue those will be hard to find there's very few scenarios where we get to hear a player complaining about going this far into a match wow but penalty shootout, literally, the chances of you saving a shot and the chances of your shot being saved, it's one in five. So penalty shootouts can go on forever and they're lots and lots of fun. So I fully intend to show one off here. Janus is going to try and acquire the ball within the penalty box. We don't want to shoot though, even though he's got this beautiful new cosmic shoot move which I showed off in the last one it's sadly not appropriate look at Diver they really tried with the design of everyone in Okinawa even the random recruits in Okinawa look good I remember my only female party member besides Tori in my, first, my second play through the game was just a random recruit from Okinawa and she did me a really good job. She was one of my best defenders in the end. I wish I could show you a picture, but I doubt anyone's just put up a picture of a random recruit that I can't even remember the name of at this point. Oh, triple dash. That's one of the strongest dribbling moves in the game in involving three people. I can afford to use it again. Get better get Mildford in to stop the ball, I think. His time on the team is coming to a close once I've picked a different defender from this team. Spiderweb from Bootgeiter, and we're just uh, three minutes away from calling it quits now, and we're gonna go to penalties. Not even needing to use a special move here, let's just dribble the ball towards goal and not do anything with it. Here we go, penalty shootout. We're still in this. 
good to see Snake, seeing as 999 is getting remade for PC and Vita. So we actually get to choose the order. I want to start with... Wait, where's Jack? I guess if he was on the bench, he doesn't count. I didn't even think he was on the bench. Well, never mind. What anyone, it, no matter who they are, is just as likely to score here as anyone else. So let's just pick a bunch of our... No, let's get a goal with Mark. Okay, those are the five that I want to take to the penalty shootout to start off with. But knowing, you know, my original penalty shootout, the last time I ever did one, it went all the way to 14 shots. Oh, he's gone the right way, he's caught it! No! Something else I should point out, the last time I did a penalty shootout against Mary Times, I did actually lose. Curly Kane's gonna take their first shot. We've gone the right way! But we were, we were meant to go high. Okay, so we have an immediate deficit. This could go wrong. If I do lose, then I will just cut to the end of a successful match in regular time. What? Oh my gosh! He's invincible! He's guessed a 1 in 5 chance correctly twice in a row while I have completely failed to do so. Mark is supposed to be great, I should have had bloody Darren in goal, he would have done better. Oh my word, I'm gonna lose the penalty shootout if I actually fail to shoot this next shot. Then I, I, I think I do indeed lose. He's gone the right way! I was really looking forward to scoring with people like Mark and, and and Jack. I haven't scored with anyone. I have lost at the earliest possible stage. In terrible fashion. You won't save the next one, Mark. We lost. I will try this again. Uh -huh. 